We see them out our office windows. We walk past them every day. Sometimes we even sit on them to have lunch. However, sculptures don't always fade into the background. And thanks to this one man in his Plantagenet studio, Ottawa has some of the best in the world. Sculpture. It's been defined variously as a three-dimensional form or figure, or something you bump into when you step back to look at a painting. But around Ottawa, you will find examples that defy easy definition. And there's a very good chance that Bruce Garner put them there. We do everything here. It's one-stop shopping, as my wife says to the clients. And that seems to reassure them. A few occasions I've been asked, who buys your work, Bruce? And I say, very self-confident people. Garner would know about self-confidence. That's what led a 35-year-old public servant and former ad executive to give it all up for sculpture 36 years ago. At a fairly early age, I said, well, there's, there's got to be more than this to a life and a lifestyle. So I started sculpting again, and I got a very good response from the galleries and the general public. That response has grown over the years, putting Garner's works in the hands of dozens of major institutions and hundreds of private buyers. And I have been collected by two or three levels of government, by the universities, by uh, educated collectors, by the business corporation collectors. Garner's house is as much a gallery and a painting studio as it is a home, and it's scarcely surprising that the grounds too are a sculpture garden and a test bed for new works. But the sculptures themselves, well, they come from their own place. It's a studio on the edge of the property made out of a converted barn. At least the sculptures did come from there before the fire. But this is the studio as it was before the fire, and it was quite a nice shop. You can see, even though the roof burned off, the walls are still intact. There's steel reinforcing rod every four feet running from floor to ceiling. And my engineer made me build to earthquake proof specifications because this region is uh, earthquake potential. Eh? Garner is still rebuilding his studio, but he hasn't stopped working on commissions. And work is the key word because art for Garner is often a matter of mind over muscle. Listen to that metal sing, boink, 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 and it means it too. Bonds won't give you that, but it'll give you more cooperation. <laughs> it's more like a heavyweight weightlifting program where you pull a large weight and pull a large weight. I, my neck runs between 18 and 19 inches. It used to be a various about 16 inches, you know. <laughs> But Garner does have help with the heavy lifting. Tamaya Garner, a sculptor in her own right, is also the manager of what amounts to an in-house family business. I basically gather everything up, date everything, keep track of it. I think that Bruce is kind of like Canada's best kept secret. And, and I know for a fact that one day um, the Grand Poobahs up on the mountain are going to go, oh my gosh, you know, we forgot to get information on this man. When people say, well, are you any good? I'll say that's not a question for me to answer or you to even ask. That's a historical question. We'll know I'm good after I'm dead for 50 years. But for Garner, posterity can wait. At 71, he has no retirement plans, but plenty of work to do. Well, just to keep sculpting and uh, have my brothers and uh, avoid the committees as much as possible. <laughs>